I celebrate myself and what I assume you shall assume for every atom belonging to me is good belongs to you I loafe and invite my soul I lean and loathe at my ease observing a spear of summer grass the smoke of my own breath echoes ripples and buzzed whispers love root silk thread crotch and vine my respiration and inspiration the beating of my heart the passing of blood and air through my lungs the sniff of green leaves and dry leaves and of the shore and dark colored sea rocks and of hay in the barn the sound the sound of the belch words of my voice words loosed to the eddies of the wind a few light kisses, a few embraces, a reaching around of arms, the play of shine and shade on the trees as the subtle boughs wag, the delight alone, or in the rush of the streets, or along the fields and hillsides, the feeling of health, the full noon trill, the song of me rising from bed and meeting the sun. Have you reckoned a thousand acres much? Have you reckoned the earth much? Have you practiced so long to learn to read? Have you felt so proud to get at the meaning of poems? Stop this day and night with me, and you shall possess the origin of all poems. You shall possess the good of the earth and sun. There are millions of suns left. You shall no longer take things at second or third hand, nor look through the eyes of the dead, nor feed on the specters and books. You shall not look through my eyes either, nor take things from me. You shall listen to all sides and filter them from yourself. I've heard what the talkers were talking, the talk of the beginning and the end, but I do not talk of the beginning or the end. There was never any more inception than there is now, nor any more youth or age than there is now. There will never be any more perfection than there is now, nor any more heaven or hell than there is now. I am satisfied. I see dance, laugh. Sing, as God comes, a loving bedfellow, and sleeps at my side all night and clothes on the peep of the day, and leaves for me baskets covered with white towels bulging the house with their plenty. Shall I postpone my acceptation and realization and scream in my eyes, that they turn from gazing after and down the road, and forthwith cipher, and show me to a scent exactly the contents of one and exactly the contents of two and which is a head. Apart from the pulling and hauling stands what I am, stands amused, complacent, compassionating, idle, unitary, looks down, is erect, bends an arm to an impalatable certain rest, looks with its side curved head, curious what will come next both in and out of the game and watching and wandering at it. Backward I see in my own days where I sweated through fog with linguists and contenders. I have no mockings or arguments. I witness and wait. I believe in my soul. The other I am must not abase itself to you, and you must not be abased to the other. Loaf with me on the grass, loose the stop from your throat. Not words, not music or rhyme I want, not custom or lecture, not even the best. Only the lull I like, the hum of your valved voice.